Hey you! You know what you need? Razors. You know what the Dollar Shave Club has? Razors! So stop paying so much for razors and join the Dollar Shave Club, you hairy person. They let me write this ad, and I know you like being insulted a little bit, don't you, you hairy degenerate? Dollar Shave Club is the smarter choice. Get a great shave at a great price, conveniently delivered right to your door. Think of it as a life hack that keeps you near your video game console and not out at some store being eyeballed by that cashier. Yeah, I know you're looking at me, Tony! What are you going to do about it? Tim uses Dollar Shave Club's executive razor with that Dr. Carver shave butter. And you know what he's always telling me? He says, ooh, I'm a smooth boy, Greggy M. And then he takes a bath. <laughs> For a limited time, new members get their first month of the Executive Razor with a tube of Dr. Carver Shave Butter for only $5 with free shipping. After that, razors are just a few bucks a month. That's a $15 value for only 5 bucks. There are no hidden fees, no commitments. Cancel anytime you like. You can only get this offer exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. Kevin made me read this ad multiple times against my will so I didn't laugh. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the Hispanic heartthrob, Andy Cortez. I've been told not to call me Hispanic because I am Mexican. I'm not from Spain. Okay. Uh, well, how do you feel? I thought we got the name Hispanic Who's heartthrob. Telling you this? I was at a Ubisoft party, and then mm. one of the PR dudes there is a kind of funny fan. He's like, was he like drunk Yo, you got to be called like Latino something. Or Latino, like, I can't say Latino heat, can I? I? I mean, I can't take it away I mean, from Eddie. I, could be, I can't take it away from Eddie. Yeah, you're right. My Latino worst heat? opening ever. We'll think about it. Surprisingly, it's not. <laughs> My <laughs> flaming Hot Cheeto, Andy Cortez. Put some twang on it. Over there, the pure one at Tim Gettys. It's like you all, you're almost there, and then you just go a little too far. It's yeah. like we got to put it some twang to, on the twang it. Could have stayed. I like the little the the hot Cheeto because like it keeps hot it Cheeto, spicy. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. No, everything is awkward. No, yeah, nothing's awkward. Caliente at all. Cortez. There it is. There we go. No, it's Caliente say that. Cortez. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, Spanish that's that's for that's Caliente. Exactly. <laughs> muy, muy, muy much. No. And this, the one and only Troy Baker, making his return to the show, like ninth appearance. How are you? Yeah, I'm. I'm like the uh, Alec Baldwin of this thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Just, like I've hosted more times. Mm -hmm. We've got to do that. Start actually. Ta oh, I'm sure you, you have, of course, fans walking, best friends. You've tabulated. Here we go. Here we go. We were having an argument before of where. Ned from Spider-Man Homecoming. I said he's Luis. doing this. Honolulu, Hawaii. He's from Hawaii. Yeah, so I knew he's an Islander. What's up? Yeah, you were right. Spanish. I just a bunch of white people just going, I don't know, he's different from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's generally what the show is. Yeah, right, right. Do the yell thing. Right now? Yeah. Right now. Bring yeah, it out, right. Andy. Lele, lele. <laughs> Can you whistle, too? <laughs> I can't whistle. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do not believe that you're Latino, my friend. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, no, we, no we gotta do the thing. I'm ready for it. What thing? Oh, you want me to go right soon? Yeah. All right. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Game Over Greggy show. Each and every week, four, sometimes five, best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, <laughs> head over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny, where you can get each and every episode early. How early, you might ask, Troy Baker? How early? So early, people are watching it live as we record it right Whoa. now, just for a dollar. What a deal. It actually helps us out a lot. Helps us out a lot. Please do it. Uh, if you want it earlier than that, but in like other things and on demand, you can give us five bucks, get every episode. <laughs> So early on Friday. You'll you get it before we record. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you notes on what we're thinking of for There's future episodes. Baseball's reference there now. Now, yeah. sir. Exactly <laughs> now. When do we make it? Just now. <laughs> if you want to be waiting until it's free, that's no big deal. Head over to youtube.com slash kind of funny. We put up the whole show topic by topic, day by day, until it's one big video show and MP3. Show. Put some twang on it <laughs> next Friday. <sighs> Which one? The Robotech slash oh the Robotech stuff yeah Nick brought all these old things because Nick's real old and like we don't even recognize him because we're Nick's all so like young 80. and viral Nick is like eighty yeah. it's mm -hmm. like eighty I mean he like, was an eighty six year old man when he first started kind of funny. when he first yeah. started so he's yeah. he had classes with with Walter Matthau no shit wow. yeah he crazy taught Walter Matthau yeah wow. <laughs> arithmetic wow. taught him everything he knew about being a grown back, back on the Nick, Kevin's gonna eventually yell at you mm -hmm. so you got to turn the mics with you yeah but this is what there's there's a mystery to it Kevin because people go oh wait what did he say no they're just in their car. And they're like, what? First off, he keeps referencing <laughs> things I can't see. Okay, well, what first of all, if you're watching this in your car, 
Don't. It's an MP3. You. Good for you. <laughs> you. The yeah. little Tesla screen. screen. You, ah. you are going to be the reason why we have uh, self-driving cars. Yeah. Minority Report. A movie. Most yeah. people don't know this. <laughs> That's Kevin and I. Yeah. With up and coming uh, actor. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. That's right. 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 Tom Tim Cruise. Cruise. Is that when you think self driving cars, that's what you jump through? That's the most immediate thing because. I, for me, it's Time Cop. But do you remember? Oh! Yes. Time Cop is my like. Heart! Oh, my heart just broke a little bit. He, you were absolutely right. He gets in the car. Go home. home. Yeah. And they drove home. Like, what the fuck? The this is, technology will never exist. And it looked, it looked thing. like a jalopy that was put together. They didn't look like real cars. Well, you can't give him, like, the best of them. He's got, he's really like an old, the version of, like, an old 88. The confusing There's thing. There's never enough time. That's the best line. There's never enough time. They were on a highway. Breathe between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, greatest movie ever made. I'm going to let you get to your line. But now that you brought a time you cop, you understand the portal that you just opened. This, I have this fight. <laughs> with people and this is one of the things that I love about him most is that he recognizes the brilliance of that movie. Fuck yeah. You everybody <laughs>, laughs at the movie, but you learned one thing and there's one thing about physics that everybody knows. Same yeah, matter square, cannot occupy the same space exactly. at the same time. Right, yeah. It's bullshit, but you know it because you watch Time Cop. Right. Everyone thinks that is a law. Well, of course, the same matter can't occupy the same space at the same time. That's Newton's fit. No, it's yeah. bullshit. It's Time Cop. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now, real quick, before you get to your story. Don't the other me. great thing Don't about this, me. of course, was yes. that Mike Boylan's father just bootlegged every... He'd rent movies Mike and Boylan. come in. Mike Boylan's dad. <laughs> yeah, in Illinois. <laughs> he'd come in and he'd bootleg every movie, just make his own copy. So he had this awesome movie collection. And one day we're, hang we're there... Seven or eight, I don't know. And he's like, "Let's watch, you know, let's watch something." We pick Time Cop, and he put it on. And then when it got to the sex scene with uh, Jean Claude and then Sloan from uh, Ferris well Bueller's done. Day oh, Off, God, Sloan. God bless. He was like, "Oh, I forgot about this." And he got up and held an Afghan in front of the TV awkwardly while we were all just waiting. And he's like, "All right, cool." And then it was yeah, she was full. Pew, pew. In that. It was cold. It's cold. I, uh, it's cold in the future. <laughs> no, I was, talk <laughs> I was talking about Jean Claude, Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, what that, was your time cop story? Oh, I was gonna say no, it wasn't also, a time cop story. It was from Minority Report. It's like they have those highways with all those sev with all those vehicles, right? They went like up the wall, driving right? went yeah, up the wall, driving up the, the wall, like sideways. But when he heads out to that farm, he has like his own fucking like red Nissan that he stole. Do no, you no, no, no. It's a Lexus. I oh, know this Alexis. because I had the model. They released a die cast model of that. It was and so why cool. Did you, why did you a big minority it? part? Somebody gave it to me. It was mm. like, here, you want this. I'm it like, was a cool movie. Here it was you go, a fucking dork. cool movie. I mean, that movie is probably going to go down in history as like one of the most defining movies where it's like people will, yeah. Emotion. Th that is attributed to Minority Report, right? Mm. Philip K. Dick? Yeah, no, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Did, I never watched Philip K. Dick story. And the same way that like Iron Man Wait, With you never hunt. watched what? Uh, uh, the Minority Report. You've never seen it? No. Man. It looked dumb. Didn't. I didn't see it. Nobody it has. Looked it looked dumb. Fuck you. It did. It looked dumb, and I didn't Fuck either. You. Dude, <laughs> James Cromwell. Dude, it is brilliant. Is it good still? Yes, I it loved still it holds when up. I saw it. It's great. Yes, it really? still holds up. Yeah. Man. All right, all right. Tom Cruise. Say what you want. The homie. I don't get why people give so much shit to Tom Cruise. He's I pizza. love him. He's dude. pizza. He's always good. Yeah, dude. Last Samurai. Great. Call it whitewashing if you want to, <laughs> but the point is, is that he is white. It it's not whitewashing because the whole point is, he was an outsider. He was a Westerner who finally understood Eastern culture. It's like Tokyo. Drift. This is why we exactly, don't dude. have no. It is not God. Danny <laughs> Tim. Very, it's very similar. It's to very, very, very similar. similar. Except for the fact that it's not a period piece. You're right. B. There's no drifting. Okay, you're right. He got me and that's there. why that's why the movie isn't as good. Now, technically, Tokyo Drift was a period piece. It was in the future. We didn't know it at the time. Yeah, what? in the future where they had their <laughs> flip phones. Good point. Don't dude. worry about it. That was still popular. Still whatever. Future. Yeah. And Lil Bow Wow had his fucking Hulk car, or whatever mm -hmm. it was. Do you know that purportedly? And I want to see if somebody shuts this down for me. Uh, Vin Diesel gave up his residuals or royalties or whatever on uh, Fast and Furious Two for the rights. For Riddick? Riddick. It wasn't Fast and Furious. He gave him up on something else. You sure? Yeah, it wasn't the Fast and Furious Triple X? Series. The Pacifier. It might have been Triple X. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, he I, he it wasn't game, right? Fast and like, Furious. Huh? Yeah, with it, Riddick, yeah. And it was very he special. owns Riddick. Riddick, completely. And they were like, that's why they sure, you can have it. He was like, I get in perpetuity comics, films, uh, video games. People got so excited everything. for that game when they brought it back. 
the Return to Butcher's Bay or whatever on 360. Oh, yeah, no, they no, did no, no, that. no. I don't yeah. think it was 360. Yeah, no, well, yeah the original was one was on Xbox, Xbox or whatever. Yeah, and then they did a, uh, in the HD remaster kind of shit beforehand. He yeah. plays a lot of World of Warcraft, that Vin Diesel. He does. He's a huge WD. He right. also he he showed D&D Sewer Sharks. Played with him, the Sewer Sharks. Yeah. Street oh, Sharks. Yeah, Street Sharks. Right. My apologies. My apologies. D&D. Yeah, uh, Super Sharks. Got I a still... massive punch or whatever. Here we go. There we go. Vin Diesel's shrewd move, Boom. trading Fast Suck and Furious cameo, cameo no. to own Riddick. Right. Oh. He shows up in the end of two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, in the end no. of three. In the end of three. Tokyo, Tokyo Drift. Three. Yeah, yeah. Tokyo Drift. This right. is what's crazy. Oh, I still. Canon, you know? I can't figure out. There's no cool way to drink out. Of this well, you are. You play <laughs> Batman, so I gave you the Batman mug. We're all out of the short glasses. No, I get the use. connection because you play him. Yeah. Batman. Yeah. No, you are the Batman. Mm-hmm. I am the a Dark Batman. Knight. Now there's a con. Oh, I don't know if I can talk about this yet. There's a there's a there's a con that's bringing up a whole bunch of Batman, and I can't be there. Um, oh, I'll go. Yeah, we'll go, go for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to be interesting. I don't know if they've announced yet. So I'm probably don't. Probably not a good idea. I'll volunteer no, myself. Do what has this guy been in? <laughs> now, Troy, make you this. You've been on many a game over, Greggy show. Many a game. They're over always Greggy. bourbon infused. They're always good I was conversation. The f- first. If you notice, but I mean, from up at noon to bring bourbon on, you yeah. you started the well, drinking. I was like, we're drinking, and I think it was Nick. We went, oh shit, <laughs> on, on up at noon. Up at noon? Back yeah. 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 Hell yeah! yeah. yeah. I broke it. it was I like, love what's that. up? Yeah, and we got hammer toasted. No, we didn't. What, hammer toasted. I, so what I want? We like we like the first topic to be ro- roving. We just talk about whatever we want to talk about. Yeah. So what I'm going to tell you is that Andy's never had mac and cheese. What's wrong with you? A lot. Do you not know Jesus <laughs> Christ is your personal Lord and Savior? I've <laughs> never, mean? I've just never had it. It's a, okay. Was it was it like you didn't? I'm gonna ask you a couple qualifying questions. Sure. Did you grow up affluent? Was there like did you grow up with money? I mean, middle class, like you mm-hmm. know. Until Andy yeah. came to work here, he had never had a Whopper or a Big Mac. You grew up rich, didn't you? you no, rich kid. God no, God no. You want no, no, the rich no. kids? No, no, no. no. So, so I always attributed to. I had my butler make me whatever hamburger <laughs> I wanted. It was my 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 Mexican upbringing, my Mexican American upbringing. We're like, we didn't eat mac and cheese. We didn't eat. Are you like first uh, generation? No, well, no. Then, I'm like second or third. But brother, like, what are you doing? But, <laughs> but, like, our lunches were like, you know. Straight, it's so stereotypical, but it was like it was like tacos. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was just like, hey, do you want a taco with beans and and potato, or a taco with beans and egg, or whatever? Okay. Like that's what our meals were. That's what our like our snacks were. Do you want a snack? Butter with uh, butter and tortilla. Hell yeah, tortilla dude. with mantequilla. Little, oh, oh yeah. see them butter, yeah. dude. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so good. So you have a family that was like, hey, <laughs> it's not you. It's, it's it's just sometimes it's what is going yeah. on in the office where Cool Greg walks in with a glass of wine on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, all right, yeah, that, that's happening I, back there. Sure. I am completely behind that 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 little functional name as well because he is incredibly cool. Oh, he's like, the coolest. Hey, what, yeah. I was like, dude, hey, we haven't met yet. He's like. I'm Greg. Like, you've been waiting to meet me. <laughs> I, 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 like, I will never forget Sean Finnegan is coming over to be on our podcast. And Sean Finnegan works for IGN. So he's like going to be on the games cast with you and Alfredo. And he walks up and the first thing Cool Greg says to him, he's like, hey, what's up, man? Hey, I hope he didn't use any. Did you use up all your good topics on IGN? You better not have, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, there's a little bit of fear about you. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't. Cool. No, I, I, like, got, I got you. Kind of, like, <laughs> shrug back a little bit. <laughs> um, that's very interesting. I respect your family for being able to. So like, hey, we want to uh, maintain our. Uh, our culture. We we don't, don't want you to be. I don't know if it was necessarily that. I think Come it was on, just... man! I gotta I gotta have some kind of anchor point. Otherwise, Andy you're had never had up. a corn dog till he moved here Dude. and worked with us. <laughs> here's what. Here's Dude. the deal. Like if you grew up where you're like you're like my parents were going through the couch and shit like that to 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 get the money to make sure that we had food and that was going you get the state fair uh, cor- uh, corn dogs foot long yeah. No, no, those were the rich kids. I'm talking about like the ones that were like 78 cents for the whole package. And and then macaroni oh, and mean, cheese. You don't mean go to the state fair. You mean out of the freezer section. I'm caught oh, up. Yeah, the, I'm the, caught the freezer I'm section. Caught and then because the rich kids had the ones with the, the fake cheese in the hot Sweet dog. Oh, you know what science, I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Science, man. Dude, That's, that was like, you. Know, how, could, how could any parent go, this is going to kill my kid, but it's only a dollar. Um, so that's like what we, there are Great segue. Uh, there are a lot of things from my childhood that now I'm reclaiming and and bringing back and trying to make a little bit more gourmet. Submitted for your approval. Well, Chili Mac Society. What? Chili, Chili Mac. Mac. When the weather got cold on like a Wednesday night or whatever, can of chili, macaroni and cheese, meat, blush, Chili Mac. 
Now that was it because it was cheap and it was fast and it was easy. What I have done is try to make it a little bit more gourmet and make it a thing. So like you make your own chili. Um, you can even make your own pasta if you want to. But dude, when the weather starts getting down, it really becomes more like a, a nice stew. Because I, we talked about this last time. When I was up here, I got like really sick and I changed my diet completely. Like It was like a huge left turn yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah, I listened to that. Um, and thank you. It was a good mm-hmm. one. When this is their good. show. I don't get credit for it. <laughs> he only listens to episodes um, <laughs> But I, I cook like every meal. Like I, I cook constantly. Um... I want to know what the thing with the sous vide is because I've been waiting patiently. Are you not hip to the sous vide? I'm I'm hip to knowing what sous vide is, but one big dog Kevin, Kevin Coelho so big. <laughs> Kevin Coelho is obsessed Bro, with sous vide. There's, there's a All reason. he does now is it's sous vide. Awesome. Please explain it to the people. Okay, so sous vide is it's a, pr- a precision immersion cooker. So what you do is I could on this. This table. <laughs> See, I did that. Brought it back. Nice. It was awesome. Um, on this <laughs> table, I could make you one of the best steaks you've ever had. What I do is I get prove it. it. Okay, bro. <laughs> if we had like a Nova, this Thank is you. when you send. I have a Nova. That's the one that I have. Yeah, that's You awesome. can tell Alexa. You'd be like, hey, Alexa, uh, help me make a steak. It's like, and it turns it on and starts getting. So you Whoa. get a big pot of water. You put this thing. It's like kind of like a big Tylenol looking thing. And you put it in the water and it creates like a jacuzzi bath. And it keeps the water at a perfect temperature. So if I want to make you a medium rare steak that's like two inches cut, I get like great center cut fillets. 131.5 degrees is medium rare. And so I get the water and it goes, boop, the water's at 131.5. I take my meat, I put it in a Ziploc bag. You can do like the, you know, uh, the vacuum seal, seal, the vacuum, vacuum seal. seal. Yeah. But I just do the, the I really Ziploc. Like, I like the vacuum seal. Do I you? like the whole process of I'm it. About to get, I'm about to get like hip to it. but well, I, I go to Costco and buy like a ton of meat. And just freeze a whole bunch. Okay, so I'm gonna, dude. I'm like, we're giving so many plugs. Um, Make sure that because you're going through this great process of like cooking your own stuff and everything. I'm I'm not knocking Costco. I have no idea who their suppliers are, Um, but there's a company called Butcher Box that will locally source where you are. Grass fed. Sounds expensive. It's by it's, the people who make Lude Box. It's really not. Lude Box. Lude Crate. And I sound like I'm giving What's them month? a plug. What's they should be paying you guys up? to say this, but they'll give away free bacon for life. What? They what? give you free bacon if, for life. What, what, what are you saying? If you sign up. What if they run out of pigs? <laughs> well, then they'll yeah. give you something else, man. But we're never going to run out of bacon. We may Wait, run out no, of pigs, on. but we'll I never run out of bacon. I eat a lot of bacon. Like, I eat. Two slices of bacon every day. Right now, I'm out. This is the first day in like two months that I haven't had bacon. I don't feel great. So like that would, that seems that seems <laughs> <bit>. perfect. <laughs> yeah, limited bacon for Kev. That's check them out, dude. Uh, again, you sh- they should be paying you for these plugs, but they should. Um, we'll send them a bill. Because what I uh, what I want to make sure is doing. I'm, I'm getting really clean food. But yeah, I take my meat and I'll uh, I'll do some. Salt and pepper, rub that in the meat. Mm-hmm. I'll chop up some yeah, fresh rosemary. Yeah, you will. Uh, a little yep. bit of garlic. Yeah. If I want to, I can put a little Worcestershire Lemon in there. Lemon pepper? Yeah, a little If I'm doing fish or chicken, yes. Oh, what about you ever put that twang you on like that sriracha? You, I mean, you can. I'm a big sriracha. Go get the but twang not on a steak. Your <laughs> I take that, I seal the bag, I put it into the water, and I leave it. This is what Kevin was saying. It takes forever, right? Just walk away from it. 45 minutes is just the minimum. Just walk away. <laughs> you just, but you walk away, you forget about it. I, I'll do it for an hour, two hours. doesn't matter because it will never overcook. But I'll take that out and it's kind of, it looks a little grayish, doesn't look right. And then you put that on your grill. You can put it on uh, a skillet, just put a little bit of olive oil, some shallots, sear the sides, put it out and it is a perfectly cooked, like medium rare, hot pink center steak. It's amazing. I've always messed up chicken. Either got it too dry mm. or whatever. This thing does it perfectly. So good. Um, you can do it with chicken too? Yeah. Dude, you can do it with everything. You can take a human hand. You can take a human he- head. <laughs> not hand. <laughs> put a human head. Um, or you can take hard boiled eggs. No bag. Put them right in the water. Okay. Pull them out. Perfect. Hard, hard boiled minutes. eggs. I grew up allergic to eggs. So I don't eat eggs either. Well, then you go. What is allergic the other- to chicken. <laughs> what are the other big foods no. you haven't eaten? Um, I don't not know. like large size, but like things we always... No, 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 no. Okay, I see what you're trying to do. You literally turned your body away from me. Here's your boy talking about this. You're cooking now. How? I'll I'm tell just you bringing this. him into the conversation. Yeah, 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 He's over here on this you're island. You're also deflecting just a little bit. <laughs> I want to know what's your aversion to this. 
it seems like easy mode, and I won't be a part of it. Oh. All right? It's not right. easy mode. There's, there's a rack like of land. easy mode. There's it's a rack of better land. mode. There's, there's better a, mode. There's no difference. Sounds optimized. If you go to any uh, any two hours for a steak. Yeah. Tim yeah. Gettys, you give me 15 minutes, I'll give you a fucking steak. What about steak, barbecue? Right? Barbecue, the whole thing is low and slow, right? Yeah, low true. heat, no, I'll slow. Give you that, I'll give you that, okay, again. so you go to any high-end restaurant, any especially steak restaurant, mm -hmm. you say you're doing sous vide or infrared broiler, and they'll go, doing sous vide. There's only been one restaurant in the last year that I've gone to. I was like, what Applebee's. are you guys? <laughs> Applebee's. <laughs> and it was a steak joint in Chicago. Oh, yeah? Black and, Eyed And Pete. they, oh, man, I know you know this place. It's one of those places. Been there for freaking ever. Okay, okay. Shonies. And I was like, so do you guys do sous vide? Do you use it for a replica? He goes, probably using a grill. It's the first one that I had to go, I'm sorry, man, my steak's not done right. And I never send back food. It was all unevenly cooked. It was charred. They did like the Philly flash, you know, yeah, where it's yeah. like really, really charred on the outside. Um, but it's it's a you can't have like seventy five tables. No, yeah, 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 and and be cooking steaks. You can't do that. So they'll have big tubs, or they have an infrared broiler that's just constantly going through. And it's what's an infrared broiler? I'm not familiar. Really infrared that. broiler is most grills have an infrared broiler. Okay, um, super high heat, but it's it's uh, in, instead of using like flame, it's using infrared as the source of heat, and so it uh, cooks more okay. accurately. Okay, okay. Um, so the whole thing is about precision cooking. But it's it's French, you know, so the French can cook. Maybe Outback Steakhouse should adopt this method. They don't need to change anything. Because their steaks are awful. Mm -mm. They are awful. I used to go you to just have to lower time. your expectations when you're going Outback. <laughs> it's not hard, the Andy. experience that but you're When you're there, you're family. I would lower my expectations <laughs> if it was like, <laughs> when you're here, when you you're here, diarrhea. you're here. I would, I would lower my expectations <laughs> if it was like $10. But it's not. It's, it's like 40 bucks. No, no, it's not, you it's guys like are twenty-two, right twenty, yeah, eighteen, nineteen. I'll give you eighteen dollars. Gets you a nice steak. Then you got to do tip. But it's not a nice a outback deal. to me. Is For like, do I want Chili's or do I want Outback? Because those are pretty much the same yeah. thing. Pretty I'm much. Outback's appetizers. I've had worse are, experiences. Are God like God's here. God's here. I can't do it anymore. I can't. I just. I. I can't do it anymore. It's the not. It's not me. I can't buy into the sous vide thing. I don't like the way. I don't like the way it sounds. So oh, sous -vide. Sous -vide. Like you're always saying it wrong. Sous -vide. Sous -vide. I yeah. never know. Yeah, I just won't say. It. I feel like I can't adopt it if I cannot. Here's what I'm gonna do. Man, I, if, if I had known, Kevin, like we would have, we would have rocked these guys' right. world. We would have done it. Surprise! We would have done like the Folgers instant thing. Like we would have come out here as like trying uh, to steak. Uh, these steaks like, have both been cooked mm. in different methods. And, and then I'll, I'll, I'll redo I the Chris like Farley this. skit from Saturday Night Live where he's like, "You son of a bitch." Well, it's. So you can just, all you need is a power outlet and a bucket of water. Yep. That's it, man. We can do that Wait, morning on, show. Though. Kevin, I thought this whole sous vide thing. Am I saying it right? Yeah. yeah. Sous vide. See, that's yeah, yeah. like you're going to sous vide. S-O-U-S sous vide. V-I-D-E. It's French. I thought, I thought that was your blowtorch shit. No, that's the creme brulee thing. That's no, awesome. No, 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 my is that how you sear your steak? Yeah, my fiance uh, is what? vegetarian, so when I when I sear it with a pan, fills the house with smoke. Okay. So I looked it up. You get a blowtorch, put it right like under your fan, and have it blowing. Just. It's faster too, huh? Yeah, very. Uh, it takes about like five minutes for a good sized steak. But Kevin okay. just likes having the blowtorch. I like That's having a blowtorch. Pretty it dope. Do you make creme brulee good. as well? I haven't yet. He's on this I, wedding diet. Yeah, I'm trying to like. I I, I don't hear you. I hear you. Um. Yeah, dude. I still bake fish. Okay. I, don't, I won't do sous vide okay. fish. Uh, just because uh, I, I just fish. I like a good baked mm. fish. Mm. Um, but maybe I need, I need to try it. I haven't tried it yet. Brining is the key, oddly enough, okay. with, uh, with fish, years. putting it in salt water. I <laughs> cannot cook. That's my problem. Neither could I, dude. Honestly, um, it's not about the cook. It's about the recipe. So anybody can follow a recipe. It's not you're not having to really create. That's what they um, said in Breaking Bad. When you try to re replicate, can the I cook? Or can I, I cook? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a guy. That's a guy. It's Mike. So, we'll and, see. Uh, oh, and oh, honestly, oh. one of the things that I love about this thing is that it, it has the recipe. There's there's this rack of lamb or lamb shake recipe. Forty eight hours. Yeah. To cook this thing, it walks you through exactly what to do. Uh, I make great fish tacos, and I do my own coleslaw. Where I, I feel like, like I'd fuck it up. You wouldn't. So bad. And the, but the beauty of it is, like, are you single? Not right now. No. It's totally the other way around. It's like, it's like, are you dating? Not right now. Are you single? No, man, not right now. What is the story behind that? It's just weird. It's because like I've 
I've been like lifetime single for the last like fucking four years where it's okay. just like I'm never gonna find anybody and as soon as I ma- moved to San Francisco I found a little lady and we are very into each other is she 80 what do you mean little lady <laughs> she's 74 I found okay. this nice dame <laughs> she has a lot of money she's willing to pay she's got a lot of mucks a lot of debts <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. the story there I don't know how long have you been together uh since May like late May okay so you can also say a couple months I could say that. Here's, here, to bring you up to speed, here's what you're doing. Night. Here's what's happening. <laughs> okay. For this, he, he's confirming this on air for the first time. Oh, he's shit. never talked about this. Yeah. No one's ever put him on the spot. It's before. come up randomly. It's come up it's randomly, randomly like, of like there's a girl or something, but not what we're talking about here. No, you're mean, in love. You're going to marry this woman. <laughs> oh my God, it's so Where you at? Where you at with this? Uh, it's looking great, man. Like, That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's looking fucking good. awesome. How old are you? I'm 29. How old is she? She's 28. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, 25, 26, it's it's pickup sticks. It's like it's like roll the dice. But yeah. both of you guys, you We know what we want. Wait Each other. wait for dude, <laughs> so 30? Beautiful. You're ramping up, bro. 30 is gonna ask well, you're 27? 27. Yeah. 28. 28. 28. Okay. 28. Um 30 will be like a defining year for you. It is if you think your 20s were cool, just fucking wait, dude. Your 30s are incredible and 40s are even better. So She's already ahead of you. you. You're like 19, right? 41. Really? I, I Shut the feel fuck like up. every time you say that, it still blows my mind. <laughs> cool <thing>. Hell yeah. <laughs> 41. Wow. I am closer to 50 than I've ever been in my life. True oh, story. Oh, shit. So are you, by yeah, the same token. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody yeah. really is. But no, I mean, I if I knew my 30s were going to be that cool, I would have skipped my 20s. And I did some cool shit in my 20s. But there's just something about, like, where you're at now, you... you transplanted yourself much like I did. I was, when did you move here? April. Okay. So you're like, April 3rd. You know what, man? I think I was 29 or 30 when I moved to California. Um, you, and you moved from Texas? I moved from Texas, Just Dallas. Like yeah, you moved from Austin. No way, for real? Dallas? Yeah, dude, Dallas, oh, baby. Oh, shit, I didn't know that. Um, did you do the drive? Yeah. It's cool, right? It's wait, fucking, wait, wait. Did you was, do the ten or the forty? I don't know. I, I drove to Las Cruces and I drove to L.A. and then I I wanted to take the Pacific Coast Highway, but I was like, well, that starts in California, kind of running off, running out of time. So I went to Las Cruces, New Mexico. Oh, you wanted to go up, right? Because I'm thinking L.A. So yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did like as much Route 66 as I could, and like the sound. I will never in my life forget. Like on my deathbed, I will have that soundtrack that I played while you're like going through Oklahoma sucks. Most of New Mexico, like on the Texas side, is terrible. But then you start getting onto the Arizona and Nevada side, and it's just freaking yeah. great. And I made a trip of it, man. I went up and and saw a buddy of mine in Vegas, but not like Vegas. We like went to like he's like East Vegas, lived outside of it, and then going down and trying to hit up as much of Route sixty six. And honestly, Cars that movie got it right. Fucking love there's Cars, so, man. So it's so accurate. Never saw it. You should Damn it, skip Craig. two, watch three. Watch Cars 1 and 3. Don't watch 2. 2 was a little bit of a bad. cash grab. It's real bad. Yeah, 3, which was... 3 just came three out. 3 just came out. Okay, I haven't, really I haven't seen 3. 2, the, the the first part of it, though, with Michael Caine was awesome. Yes. But then everything else... Yeah, falls like, apart. Like... <laughs> I'm Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> Michael but like, Caine. Mater becoming a spy and stuff. It's I don't like, want to... Nah, I, don't don't know. I don't know about that, guys. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Pixar. <laughs> Fuck, I love this show. This is so much fun. Um, but yeah, dude, it's it's a really cool thing. That that to me is a rite of passage. I did the... Oh, shit, we could get into that if we wanted to. That'd be do weird. It. Let's get fucking go, it. Troy. Get in there. Let's do it. I did the try. I like My my brain like hits like six inches ahead of where my mouth is uh, on a timeline. Now, don't inbreed in the six inches in a mouth. Six um, inches, nice. Yeah. How yeah. did you spill? Very average, right, I guess? There was a <laughs> loose ice cube. And then the show was starting, and I had nowhere to put it, so I just put it on my coaster. It's a bowl, right? It's funny. Away. But that, you, you want table ice in your you nice ice? No, 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 you're, you're right. Yeah. Uh, have you ever done the drive from either way, L.A. to New York or New York to L.A.? No, I've driven from New York Boston. To LA. I've driven from Boston yeah, to dude. Austin. Doesn't count. I mean, it's good. It's, it was me, that, fucking cool. That's a drive. That's <laughs> yeah. a drive and a half. Um, most of... Here's what I love. The people who went west... Like they left some cool shit, and then for the longest time there is nothing, (laughs) and they have to go. We came out here; they didn't know there was an ocean on the other side, right? They're just going. They just understand that there's beauty out in California. They they just know that they're going west and seeing what's out here. 
the fact that they pursued and persisted past Utah, yeah, or God, Illinois. John right, Stockton. Well, you know what I'm come talking on, about, Nassau. though. Come on, Nasek. Come Chicago's beautiful, come on now. but like if they went through like <laughs> Champaign when there's <laughs> nothing Shlana there, Urbana, Urbana, yeah. But I, here's my thing: is I try to I try to rationalize when I think about it when I'm driving across Missouri or something, right? If I'm, man, this is Missouri's beautiful though. It's beautiful, even okay. Once so I'm you driving past the Ozarks, I'm, though, you're like, oh, you mean I'm driving? Missouri? <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm driving through Illinois or something. Even then, it's like, well, we've turned this into farmland. There would have been more rattlesnakes and boa constrictors <laughs> and kangaroos boa and shit. It's not in the there jungle. Would have, there would have been more jaguars and cheetahs. There would have been trees and Elders shit. Elephants running around. I'm saying, it would have been There's a more wallabies. diverse landscape then. And I can't imagine like the first time you get to a bluff, let alone the first time you get to the fucking Rocky Mountains, what you're thinking. No, here's my thing. You're the those guys. The I've ever driven has been from San Francisco to LA. Oh, Jeez, no, really? dude. And like that fucking trip. That's a six-hour drive, this, bro. I mean, first off, way too long. Second <laughs> off, people are like, "Oh man, like it's beautiful. Right? It was great." That drive sucks. There's uh, nothing fun about that. Drive. Majority of it sucks. Majority it? of it sucks. You're, you're if once you get out of like, would you get start to you guys one on one or did you try to do the, to the one? Uh, he did one on one. He did. No, you do the one on one. I just murder yourself. Well, yeah, we have done both. Yeah, we've done both. And we've okay, been stuck in traffic. Both. Here's I, I I highly recommend it. And, and here's how you do it. You you take your time. Um, I think about the 25th hour when um, it's going to come to me. Tom Cruise. No. I saw you say it and looked to me like I was like, you're, I'm like, we're on the trampoline or the, the trapeze <laughs> together. And I'm like, I don't know what you want me to say. Oh, yeah. Grab here. I got oh, nothing. So I can't help go you. With the net. Um, uh, uh, 25th hour. Um, he plays ben his father, Stiller. Brian. Hasselhoff. Uh, Brian. Cranston. No. Brian Cranston. There's like 18 people screaming it right now. Their Brian O'Donohue. Yeah, I went to junior high. No, it's it's anyway that guy. Um, shit on me. Uh, Gary Busey. No, it's, it's <laughs> Brian. Guys, Brian. Somebody, Kevin, look it up. All right, what do we like? 25th hour, Brian. Brian Cox. God damn Brian it. Brian Cox. Anyway, Wait, so. I was going to say tongue. that. Tip my tongue. Yeah. Brian Cox at the very end of it is telling Edward Brian Norton. He's like, you're going to drive across this <laughs> so country. Going. It's not Brian Denny. <laughs> no, no, fucking Brian Denny. He goes, you're going to drive across this country. It's a beautiful country. This this country holds mysteries that you know everybody should see. And he starts talking about the different things that you see as you drive across the country. And the 40 is the first interstate that really just bisected and, and, and went from one coast to the other. Um, and you go LA, this is, how, this is how I recommend it. You go LA to Winslow, Arizona. So you go past Flagstaff and you go into Winslow. Flagstaff is a bigger city, but Winslow, Arizona has this old hotel uh, called La Posada. And it's, you should know this. Um, because it's Hispanic words. So <laughs> so the most I? racist Yo, you know, Come on, you, you know, know all of you know, Latino <laughs> culture. Oh my God, Ricky works there. Also, uh, um, Tio Carlos, yeah, he works there. <laughs> so stupid. Um, I ate a taco. You know, you know a taco. <laughs> it's it's some Spanish word. I I messed it up. I'm sure. Um, but no, it's it's one of the last standing uh, old Harvey hotels that was on the rail line. So like before there was Palm Springs. Steve Harvey. This is where Steve Harvey, well, everybody man, the family feud. Um, that was Bill Cosby <laughs> too. Yeah. Steve Harvey was very <laughs> weird. Um, cool, Greg. Can we get more ice? Yeah, please? more ice, please. Uh, and more bourbon. Yeah, I was going to say, bring one of the, uh, the other and, bourbons. And more discretion. Maybe just a little bit more discretion <laughs> too. Um, but no, it's it's uh, the people that have stayed there, like all of the rooms are named after the famous people that stay there. So there's the Albert Einstein suite. Mm, mm. Uh, there's the Clark Gable room. You, there's all these, and they have pictures of these people at this hotel. So that's, it's this old forgotten hotel that in the 20s was the joint. And it's this Popping off. beautifully uh, ornate kind of uh, ranch style home that they turn into a hotel. Anyway, so you stop there your first night. Great meal, great hotel. There's the Meteor Impact site that you can go see, which is really cool to see. Uh, and then you drive on and you go to Santa Fe. Santa Fe is out of your way. You take the f uh, 40 from Winslow to Albuquerque. You forget you ever saw Albuquerque and you go north on the 25 and you hit Santa Fe. ABQ, Breaking Bad, man. Dude, yeah, it's bad. But honestly, that that show was the best and worst thing that happened to <laughs> Albuquerque because it gave people a lot of jobs, but it also, like, it. It's a South Park reference, but it put a Whole Foods in Albuquerque. You know uh, what I mean? Sure. So it's Shatipa Town. It, sure. it just it turned it into a shitty thing. Um, and then you leave Santa Fe and you go to Oak City, Oak City to Nashville, Nashville, Nashville. to uh, DC, and then DC into New York. And it's just how long does that take? 
I did it in six days. Okay. Yeah. So five nights. So uh, Winslow, Oklahoma, or Winslow, Santa Fe, Oklahoma, Nashville. Uh, yeah, six days. So five five nights. Why did you do? It? Was that the point? Uh, Doing it for a girl. No, I was driving cross country with my friend because his girlfriend was working in New York. And you're reaching, I'm, you're, I'm, I, I don't know. I, should I know this story? Do yeah, I know this story? I don't know. Okay. Uh, she she was working in New York, and so he was moving out there to be with her. Ah, uh, now I know who we're talking about. And so, uh, so this is recent. It was last January. Sure. It was last January. I'm sure. so. Are we not saying names, or do we care? Um, Why would they care? We don't talk anymore. No. We don't talk anymore. No way. We don't talk anymore. Man, I want to know. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Like you go through yeah, this. Yeah, that's perfect. You that's, go through this. That is thank you, devastating. Right? Yeah, dude. It's been it's been a weird year. Wow. So, and it's been almost a year to the day where that happened. So, like, you go from starting the year off that way to ending it, and it's like, uh, and it fundamentally like rocked yeah all aspects of the world because that's like that was that was that was a core like you have four stakes in your tent and one of them's gone and a fucking gust of wind comes and you're just yeah wow right wow so yeah now i understand protecting the privacy of everybody involved in that one yeah so i'm sorry i'm sorry i called you so this segues into something else hey party people guess what there is a sale over at kindoffunny.com slash store up to 40% off select items Monday through Sunday. Go check it out. Have a good time. And of course, click here to go check out our Patreon. Click here to subscribe to Kind of Funny. Click here to go to Kind of Funny Games. And click down here to go to the mystery spot. Guess what? It's just a playlist of fun videos we enjoy. That's what I like to put there. Ooh, I'm a smooth boy, Greggy M. <laughs> 